see. <clears throat> oh, she's sorry about that. My voice is a little funny. Um, we usually go fight that. Why is that now? Fuji! Fuji, did you now? Or was that the TV? Uh, maybe it was the TV. Maybe it wasn't. Oh, uh, um. Okay, that's just gonna be awkward to deal with this. That's talking to his cat in the middle of the room, and he's been completely ignoring us. He won't give us any tips at all. And, and, and it's true, I won't. Oh crap, I hit the part. Put it up. I check it, yup. Lost my shield. I'm gonna kill that bowl first. Um. You can hear some stuff going on in the background. So maybe you can, maybe you can't. Metalocalypse is on and have the fan on. Because I don't like to sweat. And, well, yeah, I'm trying to lose weight, but, oh god, it's a big day. I probably shouldn't use the word god in the book now, but it's done. Yeah. Oh well. The only downside to bubbles is that. All the, the upside is they don't hurt you. The downside is they do paralyze you. Not they don't stop you from moving, but they stop you from using your sword. Which is a little downer in my opinion. And I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna they pretty much keep the same effect throughout the theory. Get hit by a bubble. Bam! You can't use your sword for like three, five seconds. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, that little one just comes over and like, gets flat. I hate these freaking mini rolls, because they're so hard and they're so fast. I wonder how many rupees are actually left. Oh yeah, oh, the reason it's speeding up is because I messed up, I couldn't find any bombs, so I'm going through all this stuff. Um, if you paid attention, you notice, I pretty much, uh, I fought one of those Kingdom of Robbers. I can't remember what it was called. Anyway, I think I've done the Triforce for this map yet. Hopefully I haven't. Uh, oh well. Did I forget something? Is that when I went back? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, use the boomerang on these guys to make them so much easier to deal with. So when you get the mystical, not mystical, the magic sword later on, they don't diverge in fact. Okay. Yeah, I think the reason it sped up and showed me fighting this guy was I probably died. And and I told you, I'm gonna make a serious fight skin my feet. Half a heart. Wow. Let's get that heart container and get our ass out of here. Get the triforce and replenish your health. Now that we got the wrap and the step ladder, we can get our two final heart containers. Heart Call what you want. I, I'm, I'm going all with the midnight. I'm pretty sure in my family can be I'm not sure if we can. I'm not sure if it's open up. I don't, I don't see why they would that right now. But anywho, just go past all these guys. Just essentially just do what I do. Except better, where you don't die so much. Because, well, the NES Zelda game is pretty difficult. The NES Zelda games, eh, not so much. But I hate how frequently Link moves and Link is that. He moves so smoothly. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But I think when I speed up, I went back and got another magical shield. Not magical shield. Was it magical shield? I, I can't remember. I can't remember. Yeah, it looks like I have a new shield, doesn't it? Make sure you kill the like likes as soon as possible. And slash if you get eaten. Hopefully you drop enough damage. Cause like, if, if you do more than like four sword swings, your shield is gone. Just don't even bother. It is gone. And you will never see it again. Um, let's see by a new one. Okay, one of our last heart pieces is right up here. 
going here, I swear that. The building was making a face that just makes it look lazy. Okay, he never gets potion, I don't see why you get it. But he looks drunk. And he just lets drink in his mouth. Anywho. There's another one, I think it's a screen or two down from here. It should be the next one. There we go. Let's get this. We're gonna make our way to... Well, we're gonna make our way to the lost pit, so we can get some magical sword. I don't know why I want to call it mystic sword. Oh, um, actually. What am I doing there? That makes no sense. I only have one bomb. That really damages me in the next dungeon. I have to go on another bomb quest. But the new guys do some, but no, they said it'd be two guys this time. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, crap, everybody else here? Oh my god, the spam is making me cold. Maybe I should turn it off. Then again, maybe I should... Maybe I should just be lazy. Anywho. I love the watch, because it pretty much makes every other enemy in the room do it. Yeah, don't go that way. You, you don't want to go that way. Um, where am I going? I can't remember. I thought I was supposed to go to Lost Woods. What am I doing? I think- oh, that's right. I'm going through the arrow. I don't know how I could have gotten that. Very, very incredibly easy. Now, since we were all the way on the right of the map, we got to make our way all the way to the left. Which is not fun. If you've ever played the NES Zelda before, trust me, you will know the pain. I, I think I try and burn a bush around here. I don't know if it's in the first place here. I don't know. I, I don't know why I try and burn it. I, I, I thought there was a moblin in there with some leafies. But then I remembered that's like two screens to the right, or one screen on at the edge of dungeon. I screw up for some reason on this and decide to go to the ninth dungeon before I go to the eighth dungeon. Um, but I don't make it too far in. I immediately notice that it says level 9 on the top left, so I immediately leave. Plus, you can't advance at all unless you get all the Triforce pieces. Huh. One thing I love about this game though is that the keys carry over. I don't think that happens in any of the other games. Oh yeah, when I do the Adventure of Link walkthrough, I'm not going to show you where to get the spells. I'm not going to show you where to... I'm going to show you where to get the heart pieces and how to increase the map computer and all that good junk. But... I'm doing it on the second quest. And what makes the second quest easier is to start off with everything from the first quest. So, it's gonna be much better. Well, it's gonna be easier for me. Don't expect it to be as easy for you if you haven't played through it yet. I, I don't see why you would forget how to play through it. And then again, it is very easy to get lost in the adventure of Link. Okay. Oh yeah, one thing, I don't think I mentioned this before, but this isn't necessarily the actual NES version of the game. If you notice the title screen, it said like 19 something to 2003, meaning it was the uh, GBA port of the game, which was supposed to contain improved translation, but it didn't really improve. Yuri Miyamoto's name during the credits is still Shigeru Miyahan. <clears throat> oh well, we got the sword, and Link is pretty much as powerful as he can be right now in terms of not going to go, which isn't really good, and what sucks about it is the only other defense upgrade for Link is in the ninth dungeon. Of course, as you know, to get to the ninth dungeon, to get through it, 
you have to go and defeat the first group, which is not pleasant at all. Trust me. Oh crap. I'm starting to get tired here. It's the middle of the night. Oh well. Oh yeah, that cave that you just saw, you're gonna wanna go there later on. And when you go to Death Mountain, the reason for this being that there's an old lady who sells potions, and knowing how bad I am at this game, I'm gonna need a lot of potions. Um, oh yeah, in the adventure link, I'm gonna show you with all the link guys. I probably should clarify this first. So I'm going to be doing all the Zelda games in chronological order in terms of the least. Um, I'm going to be doing home console versions first. And then I'm going to be doing all handheld titles later. Alright, the reason for this thing, all the handheld titles are going to be emulated. Um, how I'm going to play the DS version is a problem. But I'm gonna use a tablet to make up for the touch screen. I just hope I can make it big enough. I'm not big enough, but I just hope I can get it right. It shouldn't be too hard if I'm using a tablet though. That's pretty much like a giant touch pad. Oh. <sighs> anyway. Even though you've seen this all together in one spot, it's actually been... Well, starting from now, it's been about a week since I actually recorded that. The first ten or so minutes of this. Uh, mainly because I couldn't get a few hours to myself. Uh, anywho. I forget what you call these things. They, they look like buns. I don't really care. My wrist feels funny. Like, that's not my wrist. <laughs> that probably sounds stupid over the internet. <laughs> it's not my wrist. It's my nose. Uh, the top of my hand feels funny. Ugh. It could be ever. Oh, oh, that's right. A bomb quest or something. Bomb quest. I already said, when it speeds up, bomb quest. Or I'm getting hard sword potion. Yeah, I, this was the part I mentioned earlier. I wouldn't have had to go on the bomb quest if I didn't make a stupid mistake of placing a bomb there. Because right across the room, there's one of those mummy things with a bomb. I get that clock appeared sooner. It's like my bone is sore. Have you ever had it? Oh yeah, I die. That's why I'm speeding this up. Hearts, health, potion. There you go. Back. There you go. Oh god, I hate this. The blue ones are really annoying. Oh my god. Oh crap. Change the kitty little. Oh crap. Hi, lady. Where are you going? That's my dog, not my cat. Oh crap, our pets have been gone lately. Ah, two years ago was a bird, last year another bird, this year our last bird. And sadly, one of my cats has been eating. I don't expect him to be with us for too long, but I'm pushing he stays for a few more years. Ah. I can... I can help, right? My cat. Oh my god. I hate these things. And I think I just noticed that they always glow. Glow. They don't glow, they go in a counterclockwise manner. I just noticed that. I feel stupid now. Do they go counterclockwise? Oh, that's cat. I always have trouble with them that far. Never actually paid attention to how they move. Hmm. Dang, I, I'm sorry, but my hands are very hard to move. Uh, 
gotta get a haircut. I gotta start recording the Adventure of Link playthrough. I, I don't want it to be too long, first off. Usually every playthrough for that game, you see it's like 20 parts. Which is really annoying. I don't want to do it as fast as possible. And it should be pretty fast, actually, considering I don't have to go find the skills and spells. But, oh well. I do ramp up a lot, don't I? Yeah. Hey, at least it's not like the other playthroughs where you guys are like, you go up this door, and you go to the right, and then you go to the left, and then you put a bomb in his hand. Just be glad we're going off topic. There's nothing better than going off topic. I remember when I was forced to study, I would sometimes trick my way out of studying by playing rock band for two hours. Because I know my mom and dad like to play it. And I had to study for two hours from six to eight. So I would play rock band like at 5.30 and continue all the way to like 8.30. <laughs> Cheap way of getting out of studying, but it gets the job done. And I don't have to study for two hours. Thank God I'm out of high school. Ah, oh, crap. It reminds me that you got one thing. Your homework. Crap. Yeah, if you ever go to the Art Institute, you're gonna hate life drawing. Oh well. Not that at all. Oh crap. If you looked at my other YouTube videos, you can tell I'm not really used to playing nothing but gaming. I, I don't generally play games for my YouTube videos. I did a Mystical Ninja playthrough, but that was for a friend. And then I decided to do a Zelda playthrough, kind of just for myself. And because. It's the 25th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, I'm also doing a speed paint for 25th anniversary. I hope to have it done by the 21st. I want to post it up on DeviantArt by like the 15th at the least. Yeah. The reason it's so hard is because I have to draw all the links from the Zelda series. And if it's like two links uh, that are the same, like this link from the NES and then the Zelda 2 link, um, I'm not going to draw two different versions for them. I'm just going to draw one of those links. So like Phantom Hourglass link and Wind Waker link, same link. But Spirit Tracks link, since that's a different link, I draw a separate link for him. And to make sure you know the difference between the two links, I, uh, well, for the one from Phantom Hourglass and one Maker, I just give him the Master Sword and the Fairy. For the one from the Minish Cap, I give him the Hat with that slow, obviously, as well as the Force Sword. For the standard Force Sword, I just give him the Force Sword. Um, uh, uh, I was gonna draw the three other links that he splits into. It's obviously play like four links. I'm just like, ugh, I don't feel like drawing that many too much. <laughs> too much time. Well, uh, yeah, I do, I, uh, for the spirit track point, I was gonna draw him in his engineer outfit holding the sword and shield, but I decided against it. I decided I'll just draw him in a standard tunic, and I'll just give him that, uh, Lacomo sword. Or whatever you call it. Why am I looking at my hand as I say this? Oh crap, was ropes. Yeah, you're gonna need the big shield for this. Uh, there's like no other way to block them. Oh crap. Ah, uh, I keep reminding myself I have to clean the trigger lid. Um, uh, I was watching that episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. If you haven't seen it, it's a good show. It, it, it just, it, I guess you won't really like it if you're under 17, 
I like I like the episode where they show the kids the Lethal Weapon Five movie. Like, I'm sorry, I, I just love that. I was remembering it. Oh crap! I, I do tend to go off like that. I'll be talking to you through the video, and then I'll go off thinking in my own. I hate like likes. Oh yeah, I don't get my shield beaten the second time, which I don't think I do. Uh, no, I don't, because I pretty much keep it throughout the entire time until I fight the enemy. But yeah, protect that shield like make, make sure your fight you did see the first time. I haven't seen... I haven't even bothered to see if the uh, boomerang paralyzes them, but you never know. You should try it out. I don't try it at all. Um, the video's speeding up on its own for some reason. Uh, probably it's been a while right there. Why's it going so fast? Huh. I told you the video slows and speeds up for some reason. I already told you, right? Those hopper things with the magical sword, they don't split in half. Um, I really wish the audio on this was better, especially when I'm recording it. Okay, now it's going really slow. What's up with that? Oh crap, I don't get my shield eaten. Yay, I keep it. Oh crap. Uh, what's going on here? I'm just kind of dabbing away. Not, generally not the best idea. I prefer the other Zelda games where the bubble, I think that's what they're called, bubbles stick to the wall and don't move out on their own. Kinda gonna make me do that in the 3D Zelda game. That's different, I'm talking about 2D here. Um, oh, they don't do it either in the Adventure of Link, they just kinda bounce around. Oh yeah, when I do the adventure link, I'm gonna do the downward thrust a lot. That that seems like the tip. And I'm saying this primarily because, um, well, I'm, I'm starting off with everything from the first quest, so you won't have the downward thrust at the beginning of the game, obviously. At least I think you won't. Ah, crap! Now I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, uh, no. <sighs> I think my cat was looking at me. Like, why haven't you changed the kitty or anything? I'm going as fast as I can. Um, the only reason I bring this up is because it seemed like he wanted to be on his bed. Granted, he doesn't even use his bed. That's the dog uses his bed, and it looks so funny because he is medium sized dog and he's like sitting in a small kitty bed. <laughs> My mom finds it cute for some reason, I don't. Um, oh there you go. I already told you right, always push the left block. Left block is like, it, it's always there. Oh yeah, this! Pretty much makes the blue candle and the red candle useless. The minute you get it, it's just kind of like, ah, uh, red candle. <sighs> We've had some good times, <laughs> but I'm gonna have to let you go. Oh my god, check this out. I did not know this until I saw the concept art for this game. Look closely at the uh, map. And you can tell that the Manchi symbol clearly fits in there. I did not know that for the longest time. I, I didn't even bother. I I'm not really too big on Zelda trivia. But, like, half the dungeons fit into each other. You, you can tell by this that the Manchi fits right into there. That, yeah. uh, I think like the first four dungeons perfectly fit into each other. It's it's pretty interesting. I saw it on Kotaku. Uh, I can't remember why I was on Kotaku looking at it. Oh, that's right. I was looking up Zelda concepts 
so I can finish that 25th anniversary too. Oh. Um, I was gonna talk about the hero shade from Twilight Princess, but right now I'm kinda like, uh, why bother? So I'm like, there is some way someone out there, someone out there will disprove what I would say. Because uh, a lot of people assume it's the Ocarina of Time link, the Hero of Time, obviously. And I'm thinking, wouldn't that kind of be impossible? Like, I mean, it's possible, but kind of impossible. At the same time, I'm like, oh. I, I, I don't think it's, I don't know if I'm getting this right, and I don't think it is true. But I heard that Link from the Wind Waker is a reincarnation of over in the time, and I'm not sure if that's true. And it, it, I was thinking, then how would the hero spirit, or hero shade as some people call it, be the re soul of the hero of time if Twilight Princess and Wind Waker happen parallel to each other? That would mean that he can't be in Twilight Princess at the same time he's in the Wind Waker. His soul was, his soul can't be in two bodies at once. And that's if Wind Waker Link was the reincarnation of Hero of Time. But that wouldn't make sense either because Wind Waker happens in the adult timeline. And obviously, Twilight Princess happens in the child timeline. I almost said Twilight for some reason. The worst series ever, and I almost mentioned it. I am bad at it. Alright, oh crap. Yeah, I did this uh, three different segments. Uh, not the. Well, I did do the video, it's three different segments. But I meant I narrated it in three different segments. This piece was narrated in three different segments. Don't know why I had to repeat myself. Uh, I should be getting that 3D Dot Heroes in the mail today. I hear it's pretty similar to Zelda, this one. And by similar I mean I hear it's a complete ripoff. Uh, which, meh, I don't mind. I hear the overworld pretty much the same though, but as long as it's fun, I'm happy. Ugh, John Stewart's on. Uh, I don't, I don't like John Stewart. He, he's not funny. I, I don't get how a lot of people find him funny. Uh, I guess it's just his way of doing comedy. <laughs> oh yeah. Sometimes I'll grab. <laughs> Fairies or hearts, even when my health is full. You know, I already said this, right? I do it so I can reassure myself that I am completely healed. Because some of the enemies only deal like a fourth of a heart, and because the game can't process a fourth of a heart, apparently, it thinks you're at full health. Yeah, uh, so you're still able to shoot sword beams, even though you've taken four parts of damage. I, I would love to see a Zelda game in the future though, that'd be awesome. Well, I really want to make a Zelda game one day, I think so, that. But I would like to make it in the future. Like, by then, Link realizes, well, this reincarnation realizes, that the whole Zelda, Link, Ganon fighting thing won't end until the Triforce is completely, obviously, eliminated. And so, they would have to go get the Triforce and wish the existence of the Triforce to, well, they would wish that the Triforce no longer existed. Um, then, like, the goddesses would come down and be like, you can't do that. And they're like, yes, we can. <laughs> uh, Yes, we can't, and they do do it, unlike Obama. No, he can't. Um. Oh crap. 
I'm, I'm trying to think of what I was saying. I, I know what I was saying. I'm trying to think where I was going with it. I, uh, I forget easily. Uh, which reminds me, I need to look up the ocean liner and murder. Uh, you guys can look it up too, primarily because I said it right here, and some of you're gonna be like, "Ocean liner murder mystery? What's that?" Um, oh crap! What was I going to say? Oh yeah, the final, the final boss of the game would be the goddesses, and in the end, you wish the Triforce out of existence. I'm not sure why the goddesses would show up. They completely left Hyrule. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know why they came up with that concept. But, but as everyone knows, obviously, the main idea is instead of Link having the horse Epona or Epona, me and my sister, my family, me and my friends call it Epona. <laughs> Even my family. Uh, obviously, the motorcycle would be named Epona. Um. Yeah. yeah. And you would make like a lot of revision. Like the hook shot would stay there. Uh, like it. It would be hard to replace some weapons like the bow and arrow. I mean, you could probably keep them, but well, they would have to be different by that point. They would have to be like those really complicated looking arrows to see at the store now that are like hundreds of dollars. The slingshot though, I think they could keep because like, you can go and buy a slingshot out nowadays. Like Link would probably use like a modern version of that. The whip though, I I'm not sure what you would do with the whip. I mean, you could probably keep the whip, but <laughs> Link's gonna look like a masochist. And masochist Link saving Hyrule. Oh, uh, what I'm doing here is, uh, the walls. I mean, not the walls. Uh, the block is supposed to move once all the wall masters are dealt with. What I don't know is that there's still one left, so there he is. Uh, so I go and kill him. Uh, you can push the block either way. Th this is one of the only occasions where the left block is not the answer. Uh, primarily because they're pretty much is no left block. Um, well, there are left blocks, but they're up and down. Oh crap, what was I gonna do? Yeah, I keep reminding myself about the murder mystery. As I said earlier, I hate Jon Stewart. He's not funny. If, if you're watching this and you're a Stewart fan, mute me. Stop watching this video. Write a comment like, uh, this guy doesn't know the comedy. It's it's not that he's not funny. <laughs> I, I say it like a fact. There have been times where he's made me laugh, but that's like once every what month. <laughs> uh, the thing I primarily don't find funny about John Stewart is he has other people act out. Interviews and sketches and skits for his show. Well, Stephen Colbert does it all by himself. He'll have like the guest who writes a book or uh, tells him about farming <laughs> or something like that, and he'll interview him. But he has all these other people come on his show and uh, express like one side of an argument. And the other obviously expresses the other. And he interacts with them. Um, and that's what I don't like about him. He, he needs other people on his show to make it work. And as I said, Colbert can do it all by himself. Um, oh uh, crap. I'm starting to get tired. Uh, but I'm going to finish this up. And then I'm going to finish the last one up. Save it. Uh... Upload it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna force myself to stay awake till my game gets here. <laughs> Unless weather conditions stop it from getting here today. Uh, oh crap, I'm trying to decide what to do with my money. Uh. Uh. Crap. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 comes out February 15th. And I wanna get it, but the thing that's stopping me is. I pre-ordered the 3DS, obviously, and 
Well, I think I already said it, that's what makes it obvious. And, uh, yeah, this is the part where I screw up and go to Death Mountain and go to Level 9 Dungeon. You just completely ignore that. Um. Uh, oh crap, what was I gonna say? The, oh yeah, what's making me hesitate to buy Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is one. Uh, well, it's obviously gonna be like 60 bucks. I I I'll have like 65 bucks by that time. Well, actually, I'll probably have 68 bucks. But what's stopping me is that. The stopping me is, when the 3DS comes out, even if I bought Marvel vs. Capcom 3, I would only have 25 bucks left over, which is only enough money to buy one game. And so I'm kind of like, should I just buy one game? Should I wait till after the 3DS has been out for a while and buy a game or sh and buy Marvel vs. Capcom 3 right now, or should I... Just wait till 3DS comes out and buy a uh, 3DS game. The only game that I would actually buy to hold me over is Super Street Fighter 4 3D. I think I've already explained this to you guys. Uh, but this is good for people who haven't seen the first part. <laughs> um, uh, kind of getting too personal on this stuff, but. I don't generally like to just talk about the game, I and mean, talking about the game only is boring. And let's face it, you don't want to watch a boring video. Then again, me rambling can be extremely boring. Uh, your viewpoint on boring to you. Um, hmm. Link's Awakening is coming out on the 3DS. Uh, which is fairly obvious. It comes out the day it comes out. The, the, okay, it, it comes out the day the 3DS is launched. Um, hmm. Uh, I could probably just get Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and buy Link's Awakening if it was in 3D. I already have the. I own the original copy of every Zelda game, except for Link's Awakening. I have the DX version for the Game Boy Color. I don't have standard Link's Awakening. For the standard Game Boy. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, we're coming to a close on this video, as you can probably tell. Little red bars starting to fill out, reaching the end. Time says it's like 38 minutes in, and then there's only like 24 seconds left. Well, now by the time you're watching this, it'll be like 18, 15 seconds left. Uh, so, yeah, burn. Not that bush, not that bush. That was the bush I stated earlier, I try and burn for some reason. Uh, yeah, the bush right here, the one that stands out, is the dungeon! Entering in 